an important element in diagnosing problems with front approaches, front jumps, is spacing. In other words, where should the diver start on the board to begin the hurdle? How long should each one of the steps be? How far from the end of the board should the last step be placed? Um, how much room do they need overall? So this general idea I like to refer to as spacing. So today in this video I would like to talk to you more about the general rule of thumb that we use to help divers determine where they're going to start from and where their steps come down. The easiest way to figure out an appropriate starting point for a diver on the diving board is to have them use their foot as a measuring device. Um, and what you're going to see in the video that we show here in just a moment is a diver using his own feet to measure back from the tip of the board. He's going to start at the very tip of the board. He's going to measure two of his foot lengths backward. And he's, you'll see he's using sidewalk chalk to measure the spots, uh, to mark the spots as he moves backward. So he's going to measure two foot lengths back for his hurdle. Uh, then the last step in the hurdle is going to be four foot lengths long. And then all of the other steps are going to be three foot lengths long. So let's take a look at the video and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Once the diver has made the appropriate marks on the board, they can set up with their toes at the line and work on their front approach. Both the diver and the coach can use the chalk marks as reference points to uh, determine if the diver is consistently placing the feet correctly, the spacing is consistent and accurate, or if they're overstepping on certain steps. Now, the 24333 uh, layout of the steps is a good rule of thumb as a starting point. Some divers are going to take a longer last step and that's going to work well for them. Uh, you may want to go to a five foot lengths. Uh, more beginner divers may tend toward a four or a three. Uh, foot length last step. The last step is critical. The placement and the length of it is so very important to uh, being able to consistently land on the end of the board in balance with power um, and with some forward momentum. So making sure that the diver is placing that last step with two foot lengths out in front of them to get to the end of the board so that when they drive their knee up they move forward out over the end of the board that is crucial and this manner of marking the board with sidewalk chalk is super helpful for having uh, those reference points for the diver and the coach um, work with it experiment with it see what the diver likes and how it looks with each individual diver it's always a different story um, so you'll be able to tweak it it's going to be a little longer or a little shorter uh, than what we start with but this is a good rule of thumb to help you to get the spacing right for your divers as they really start to uh, hone and perfect their front jump.